Hey, it's Darren German, and today I wanted to explain to you the main differences between an in-branch mortgage provider, a mobile mortgage specialist, and a mortgage broker. Let's start with the first one. An in-branch mortgage specialist is typically my least favorite of the three, and the reason for that is the amount of volume that those people do. I find that there tends to be a line of people coming very right after you when you're going to talk about your mortgage and get more information. And my experience when working with these people is they don't give you the full story. They don't do all the work to to get you to the point to be able to have intelligent information to make your mortgage and buying decisions with. The concern with this, of course, is that when you go out to buy a home, you may have a price in mind and you may find a home you fall in love with. And a lot of the time when my clients work with people in branch, there becomes issues with their financing. Now these people in branch are paid by the hour and they are compensated with credits and bonuses and whatnot, depending on what mortgage product they put you in. But the important part is they are paid by the hour. So there's somebody coming behind you. And typically, as I mentioned, you're not getting the full scope of what you need to know for your mortgage from those types of people. And a lot of the times when my clients work with a mortgage provider in branch, they have issues with their mortgage. That leads me to the second type of mortgage provider, and that is a mobile mortgage specialist. A mobile mortgage specialist works for the bank. So if you were going to a bank or a credit union, they are just an extension of that credit union or bank. The great thing about that is they can sell you all of the same services and mortgages that somebody in branch would. Funny enough though, this is also one of their limiting factors. They are limited to only their products. So that's something you're gonna to need to consider when you decide if you want to work with a mobile specialist. But here's my favorite part about them. They are paid on commission. And the great thing about that for you is that means that they need to figure out a way to make you happy. They need to figure out how to make your deal work. They need to figure out the things they need to do to put you in a position to be successful. And they're gonna do everything they can to make sure that you choose them to be your mortgage provider. This is why I always recommend a mobile mortgage specialist over going into the branch. And the third option, of course, is a mortgage broker. Now, the value of a mortgage broker is they can shop almost the entire mortgage market. You may or may not know, but there's more out there than just the big banks and credit unions. There's actually mortgage companies that these mortgage brokers can bring you to. Again, they are paid on commission, so they need to make you happy. And they may be able to bring you a product that better suits your needs. So if you're very rate sensitive or the terms of the mortgage are really important to you, these people can shop almost the entire market with the exception of big banks like maybe CIBC or RBC. However, the value in a mortgage broker is that they can bring you all of these different options. Now, this can also be a little bit to their detriment because they are paid on commission. Now, I mentioned that that is a good thing typically. However, different banks will offer mortgage brokers different amounts to bring you to them to get their mortgage. So the biggest value in a mortgage broker is options and they should be giving you options. If they're not giving you options, then the value of them diminishes quite significantly. Almost the equivalent of me showing you only one property and expecting you to buy it because it is just generally a property. When it comes to recommendations, my preferences as mentioned are mobile mortgage specialists and mortgage brokers. I'm happy to talk more about this with you if you'd like to learn more. Thanks for watching and now you know the difference between the three.